All right, in this video, I will be reviewing the Light Show Airblown Mixed Media Metallic Snow Globe Santa Beagle Gift Scene with projection with LED. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, this is another one we got online from Home Depot, and a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes when you order them from online, they just come in this plain brown box. That's always disappointing, but that's just how it is sometimes. And we got this from Home Depot in the year 2022, and it is indeed a Demi product. I'm pretty sure it's sold under the Home Depot brand name too, by the way. In any case, here are the stakes it comes with. Like I always say, not a huge fan of these small metal ones, but with the rest of these stakes, these probably, probably work just fine. These small metal ones are supposed to go in here, the hole here on the motor, to help keep the motor down. Now the reason I say these small metal ones would probably work fine this time is because it also comes with these two spiral stakes. A lot of times these globe-shaped ones, they'll come with ground loops. I don't know if I can find them but they'll come with ground loops. When I plug it in, I'll probably find it easier, but they're gonna probably be on, on either side on the ground of the, um, of, the, of the inflatable. And you're supposed to put this in the ground, obviously, and hook the loop through here, and that will secure it to the ground. That, these work really, really, really well. Um, so it's nice that it came with these two spiral stakes. Like I said, a lot of them, these globes do. But come the, the ground loops, they don't necessarily come with these spiral stakes. These work really well, so. These should work just fine as long as you use these two properly. And as almost always, comes with four tethers and four tent stakes for the tethers. And I also think these work really well, especially for the size inflatable. So this is very, very good um, stakes that came with. It should be just fine just using this stuff. And here's a motor. It's the kind of motor that sits on the ground. Doesn't look like a very big motor. I mean, I don't know if you saw my previous video where we had that, that motorcycle, that beast of a motor. For that, that play like that was way too much. This looks like it's much smaller. I can tell, I haven't opened that, I can just tell how much smaller that one is. In any case, it sits on the ground, but um, the, the legs do, are not collapsible. That's disappointing. I think the first one I've seen in quite a while where the legs are not collapsible, but not that big of a deal. I mean, should, I mean the black good side, I think, for what it is, so it should be hopefully easy to get back on the box. Plug it in now, see how long it takes to inflate. Now this is a globe, you can tell, but there's no snow. That, Cause that, it's, not like, it's not one of those ones where it has snow in it and you know, snow blows around or anything. It's just, it's just a snow globe. But snow globe stands the snow. There we go. You gotta figure the air gets to the globe last, so that's why that part's taking a while to blow up. I mean, still fast. We've been, what, maybe, maybe 30 seconds so far, and it's almost done, so. That's not slow by any means. We're under, a, that's definitely under a minute. That's pretty good. Add one Halloween inflatable. It's the only inflatable I've had so far. I think it took like five or six minutes to fully inflate. That was a little ridiculous. So, it's, I mean, this is good, especially compared to that. I think that's pretty much all air it's going to get now. Uh, that's nice. I, I, I that note does that. It has like a lights in the background kind of swirling around. It's kind of nice. I that note had this either. This is a, this is a it's a material, but it's a good, it has good weight to it. So it's not like it's going to just fly away really easily. I mean, it is, it is um, you know, um, sewn in there too. So pretty good too. But yeah, it's pretty good material. It's kind of cute from Santa. That's adorable. And it's got, I really like that bow. That bow just looks awesome. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a, a metallic shiny material too. So that's nice. Santa looks great. Uh, I guess that's the beagle. He looks great. I remember it said with media. Oh, the media. Did I say it came with media? I'm gonna say it comes now. Um, yeah, mixed media metallic snow globe. The so the, so, so the projection or the lights rolling around. I guess the mixed media is because it says from Santa. I'm not really sure what the mixed media is. Um, let's see if I can find those loops I was talking about on the ground here. Yeah, see right here. See that you you put the spiral stakes in the ground here, you and you attach this to the top of it, and yeah, once that once that's in there, I mean, I mean, make sure this is on the stake really well because sometimes they can like come loose. Maybe you want to make it so you twist down more so this can't come off the stake unless you untwist the stake. In any case, once this is on the this is on the ground, I mean, th those spiral stakes work really well. I mean, so yeah, the, um, you really don't even need to stick down the motor with these, but you, know, you might as well go ahead and do it anyways come those four metal stakes just in case. Doesn't it hurt to have uh, more stakes just in case. But again, like I always say, 
still do not plug your inflatables in a really strong wind. I mean, though every all your stakes will fail if the, if the wind is strong enough. Your all the stakes will fail. Doesn't matter if it's spiral stakes, tent stakes, what the stakes will fail, and you'll never see your inflatable again. So do not plug your inflatable in in really strong wind. Okay, oh, let's do that. Oh, and it does get plenty of air. I mean, even the bow up here gets plenty of air. It all has plenty of air in it. This is this blows up really, really well. So the motor. It's just fine. Like I always say, Jimmy usually does a good job of giving you a good sized motor, usually better than you need, especially if you saw my previous video of that motorcycle. He gave you a really good motor. I was really surprised, still shocked. Uh, anyways, go ahead and then turn the lights off. And I do like that swirling lights in the background. That's really nice. It almost kind of looks like it's supposed to be the snow. Doesn't it kind of look like in a, in a way it's snowing? So I actually kind of like that better because if that's the whole point of this, because um, we've had bad luck with ones with snow in them because the snow, I mean, if you get like, even just a little, it, it, it little it's a bitty hole right there. It could be a little tiny hole. It's going to leak snow, that fake snow everywhere. It's going to get everywhere. I mean, of course, because it's blowing the snow in and the, and the inflatable is being blown up by air. So it just pushes that snow everywhere. It gets sucked right out of that hole. It just makes a huge mess. So if, if I ever get an inflatable that comes with snow again, I, I probably just won't use the snow. I'll just, you know, because usually the snow comes with a little bag besides for the port in the inflatable. I just won't use that snow. I won't put it in the inflatable. It just makes a mess. Even a little tiny hole. Like a little tiny hole, it's not really affecting it blowing up at all. It's just a little tiny hole. And boom, all that snow just gets pushed and sucked out. So, but okay, so I, I do like this. If that's what they're going for, the lights are supposed to be the snow. That looks, that's great. I mean, that's better than the snow. Not just because of what I said about snow um, getting sucked out. It just, it looks nicer. I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, sure in the day you can see the snow just fine, but um, at night, unless they lit up, unless they lit up the globe really well, which they usually don't. I mean, this lit up really well, but usually the globe doesn't lit up that well. They usually just light, like I said, like Santa and the dog. They'll just light the characters inside, but that's just the characters inside. The only reason this is so bright is because of all that swirling light. Well, for that, that'd probably be dark in there, and it gets dark at night. You can't even see the snow, anyways. So it's nice that they really, if that's what they're going for, I'm gonna say it's what they're going for. It looks really, it looks much better like this. Okay, sorry for the tangent. I just, I just thought I'd mention that. Um, but yeah, the, the the base lights up really well. Santa and the dog light up light up really well. Like I say, these inflatables usually come with six night lights, but this might be an exception because it had plenty of light from that. The projector light there, projection light there. So let's see if we count them. Definitely one in Santa, one in the dog. And I'm thinking just one in the base. So this actually only has three lights, it looks like, which, like I said, is pretty much all you need <clears throat> because that projection light really lights up really well. I mean, that is really bright. Like I always say, the only light source in the garage right now is really from the inflatable that giving off plenty of light. Definitely see a dog and Santa and the present just fine. So that is. Awesome, I like that a lot. <clears throat> Gonna turn the lights off, or lights on, I should say. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the electricity usage here. Ah, that's really not bad at all. That's not bad. You got the projection, you got the motor, the projection light, and at least three LED lights besides only 63 watts. That is really good. That's, there's definitely all LED lights in there. That's fantastic. I like it. I like this one a lot. This is probably one of my favorite globes we have now. This is just amazing. I really do like it. I like this one a lot. This is good. I highly, highly recommend this. If you can find it for a price you are comfortable with paying, I think go ahead and go for it. It's a fantastic inflatable. Blows up fast. It stands up well. It lights up really, really well. It's a, it's a nice touch with you know, the lights being the snow. Of course, the only thing I worry about that that ball is going to burn out eventually. But but at least the ball—I don't know if you can see that there well. But it, it's a ball you can replace. It's 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 it's. it's I mean, it has a cover on it, and you take the screws out. But you can replace the bulb. I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I can check it there real quick. I won't blind you guys again. Uh, no, I can't tell. But in any case, now I can't tell. Usually those bulbs are replaceable, though. I can't tell from here. Um, but in any case, I've noticed those lights tend to last much longer than like the um, than like the night light bulbs, the LED bulbs that come with them. Those, then, I don't know what it is. They just tend to last longer. I've noticed. So, 
Maybe, maybe just because it's still mini them. I don't know, but they tend to last longer. So in any case, it looks really nice. I would highly recommend it. It's a great inflatable. It'll look great in any of your Christmas displays or, you know, any display you want. You can use it for Halloween. No one says you can't use it for Halloween if you don't want to. You can go ahead and put it for Halloween if you want, okay? It'll look great in any display. It's a fantastic display. I highly recommend it. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say about uh, this inflatable. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you all for watching. See you next time.